And even from, you know, I know you're talking from the residential standpoint, but mm -hmm. even from the commercial space, you know, I've been in the energy business now for almost seven years. <clears throat> and one of the things that are able to be attacked from that commercial side of the business too is, you know, these, these commercial businesses, they are using a ton of energy and sometimes just losing money mm -hmm. um, because of the inefficiencies that they have in their energy consumption. Mm -hmm. So what, you know, C3 Technologies really tries to focus on is being able to just look at the entire envelope mm -hmm. of their building, how the, you know, things from the lighting, you know, the actual um, different types of heating and cooling methods that they have in their business and a couple other things too. But, you know, just looking at everything around the board before we start talking solar, exactly. you know, so it's, um, it helps out to a lot To be honest, too. solar isn't always the solution. We don't want to be the, the ones that push solar onto people that solar isn't meant for because yeah. I'm not going to be, the, I'm not, I'll be the first person to tell you like, this is not for you. I wouldn't go solar or Absolutely. I would wait till I get to another space in my life to yep. go solar. But for 80% of the, the, the homeowners in Houston or around mm -hmm. the country, it probably makes more sense than what you're doing with the utility company right now. I know like here in Houston, mm -hmm. what, about three, four, five weeks ago, mm -hmm. there was a, a Hurricane Burrow. Yeah, Hurricane that hit, Burrow, man. Affected that hit, that affected, what, 3.2 million people about around? 3.2 million, and they were without power.